St. Mark's Evangelical Lutheran Church has been welcoming the LGBTQ community since 1985. 35 years ago, James Harp came to St. Mark's. He's been the organist and choir director here ever since. I came here because of their noted mission to welcome gay and lesbian people. I wanted to be here. And um, it's been a wonderful place of welcoming inclusion, um, particularly during the HIV AIDS time. This was a place where many people found community and family, and um, it really was a very welcoming place. Reverend Emily Scott is the pastor of this 160-year-old congregation. She's been pastor of St. Mark for a year and a half. Four years ago, she founded another congregation called Dreams and Visions. I'm the pastor for both congregations, but we have two really different ways of worshiping. Um, St. Mark's is very formal and in a big historic sanctuary, and Dreams and Visions is much more creative and um, playful and informal. Worship takes place in the same building, but at different times. Scott says Harp was behind the move to make St. Mark's officially affirming to the LGBTQ community. We were actually the second congregation in our whole denomination to become officially affirming. In the whole denomination nationwide? Yep. Pamela Johnson has been a congregant for 17 years. She says the church wrapped its arms around her during some of the most difficult times in her life. She likes the loving way the church embraces everyone and how Scott teaches that. And so she has challenged us to be loving Christians no matter whether you're straight, gay, bi, trans, and the like. She's also reached out into the community in a way that had not been done. Scott identifies as queer and gender queer. Folks who identify as queer often have a little bit of experience on what it means to be on the outside of a community or to feel a little less understood. Um, some of us even have experience in feeling um, very unwelcome. And so as a pastor, it helps me to empathize with people who have gone through experiences like that. St. Mark's radically welcomes gay and lesbian people. And there's something incredibly freeing and liberating and godlike about being able to be just who you are. Scott says anyone who is looking for a church home is welcome here. Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News. Well, this Sunday at 11, the church will hold its pride service.